You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. So here it is, the world's largest single unit hard drive, 16 terabytes. In this video, we'll take a look at the new record breaking drive from Samsung, and then we'll take a look at the fun factual history of hard drives to put things into perspective and hopefully get some brains ticking. Let's get straight into it. So we all know 16 terabytes is about 16,000 gigabytes, but how much storage is that exactly? Here's a nice visualization to give you an idea. Please note that this visualization was made in 2008 and was for 12 terabytes. So I've gone ahead and put the extra 33% storage on top to make it 16 terabytes and the updated numbers are about 7 billion single spaced typewritten pages, 3,500 DVDs or 12.8 human brains and that's according to Raymond Kurzweil's estimate of the human brain's functional memory. Okay, so 16 terabytes is a lot. Well, almost 16. Technically, 15.38 of the total 16 terabytes is actual user storage. That aside, the most amazing thing is that this hard drive is not a hard disk drive, but a solid state drive, the kind that has no moving parts and are much faster than the traditional spinning disk drives. Samsung first announced the drive in April of 2015 and creatively titled it the PM1633A. It's only 2.5 inches in width, but has a read-write speed of 1.2 gigabytes a second. That's so fast that it needs 16 gigabytes of DRAM and specially designed firmware to make it all tick along. By comparison, the largest conventional single unit hard drives made by Seagate and Western Digital currently max out at 8 to 10 terabytes. So the question is, how did Samsung do it? Well, this unprecedented 16 gigabytes of storage on a single SSD is enabled by Samsung's new 32 gigabyte NAND flash die technology. The company has managed to cram 48 layers of these into a single die using 3D vNAND technology. The simplest way of describing 3D NAND is to imagine everything turned on its side. So instead of having just one layer of memory cells in a single plane, you can now have dozens of layers of cells all standing up next to each other. The V in VNAND refers to the vertical nature of the cells. Samsung claims that 3D VNAND chip technology is more reliable than its predecessors while performing faster and more efficiently. They go on to say that due to their new technology, all 15.36 terabytes of usable data can be rewritten daily without failure. In the press release, Samsung stated that this drive is purely for the enterprise market. So that's bad news for PC enthusiasts. Though we can expect this technology to trickle down into consumer drives in the future. There's no pricing yet available, but rest assured it's going to cost a fair bit. But at least the technology now exists. Further to this, with time, once expensive storage methods usually come down to an affordable price. Perhaps in two to five years, we could see this kind of storage hit the price point south of $300, if recent history is any indication. Speaking of history, for a wider context and a quick bit of fun, let's see where we've come from in terms of storage. Check out this IBM 305 hard drive from 1956. The 305 was composed of 50 24 inch discs stacked together, taking up 16 square feet of real estate and it weighed a literal ton and it cost about $160,000 and stored, get this, five megabytes of data. As time rolled on, storage capacity managed to increase and by 1979, 250 megabyte hard drives existed and you're looking at one now. As the 80s rolled around, the hard disk drive format found a great synergy with the personal computer. Here's a 10 megabyte hard drive from 1981. That price you're looking at is over 8,000 US dollars adjusted for inflation. And finally, one more fact. It took 51 years to get to one terabyte of hard disk storage, which was achieved in 2007. Just two years later, in 2009, we had the first two terabyte drive. So while it took 51 years to reach the first terabyte, the second terabyte took just two years. Now in 2016, with two terabyte drives becoming fairly commonplace and relatively cheap, we clearly live in the future. So that's the past and the very cutting edge of hard drives. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can subscribe to this channel, definitely do that. 
And if you want to see some more cool stuff from this channel, hang around for the next 10 seconds and follow the prompts on your screen. Cheers guys, this has been Togogo and you've been watching Cold Fusion. Have a good one and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.